Tomato, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make these deep eyes. Ah! Why? <laughs> it's falling over. Okay, birdhouse um, for your um, 18 inch model. And this is, it also comes with a tree that you can make. I um, mean, you don't have to make it, but um, yeah. Also, this is, a, this is day one of the spring collab, your new allergy spring collab with Hannah the Honey Bear. It's taking place March 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th, leading up to the first day of spring, where Hannah the Honey Bear are posting every other day. Starting today, so on the 17th, the 18th, and then on the 19th, the 20th, and um, we're posting every day something spring related, and yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to make these DIY bird cedar, um, feeder, cedar, seriously, bird feeder, and this tree, um, and it's a great size for your 18 inch doll, so yeah, let's go! I mean, 18 inch model, whoops! Okay, the things you're going to be needing to make this craft are a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, cardboard, um, clear plastic from packaging, any type of packaging, but it has to be clear. You'll be needing um, some wood grain scrap of paper that looks like wood, or you can just get this at Michael's, but I printed this off of my computer, and I will leave the link to this in the description box, but if you don't want to waste your ink on printing this, just go to Michael's and get a wood grain scrapbooking paper. You'll be needing a ruler, bird seed, scissors, pencil, any type of clear drying glue, it could be Mod Podge or school glue, and a glue stick. Okay, so out of your piece of cardboard, you're going to need to cut five pieces of cardboard, and I'm going to tell you my measurements. You don't have to use my mallet measurements, but um, I'm going to tell you them. Okay, you're going to be needing two identical pieces of cardboard, and these are one and one half inches squares, like, and then I just drew on some rectangles on the top, so it looks kind of like houses, and these need to be um, identical. Like, you can, you don't have to do the measurements, but you should try and make them look completely identical. You're going to need another piece that is two and one fourth inches, um, a square um, by two and one fourth inches square so it's two and one fourth inches on all these sides you're only needing a piece a rectangle that is two and one half inches long and two one and one and one half inches wide and then you're going to need a long strip of cardboard that is about nine inches by a little less than half an inch and you just need it to be long enough to go around this whole square like so boom Okay, so now out of your clear plastic, go ahead and cut two identical pieces of clear plastic that are about one and one half inches tall and one and one fourth inches wide. And they need to be as tall as this line right here. And then the width is just one and one fourth inches. And you need to make you need to make two of these. So now we are going to cover all five of these cardboard pieces with our wood scrapbook paper or printable. For these these three pieces, you only need to cover one side of these, but you also need to cover the edges. So I'm going to show you how to do this, but you don't have to cover this side. Okay, so now you have this really nice covered piece of cardboard, you're just going to repeat it on the other one, like this, and then this rectangle. Okay, now for these two pieces, you're going to want to cover them on this side and this side. Just do the same thing to this one as you do to the first th three we did, but trace it again on here. Cut it out, this time just a little smaller than with the lines. And then just glue it on the back, like so. Okay, now you should have five pieces of cardboard. These three are only covered on one side, and this one also you should bend in the middle. These two are covered on both sides. So now we are going to assemble our birdhouse. So grab your little pieces that look like houses and glue them in here. Okay, and then before you glue on this other side, you want to glue in your clear plastic um, onto the side right here. roof right here and then we're going to glue our clear plastic on like that okay so it's kind of funny um, i had to change the measurements of this clear plastic completely kind of because um, i realized you're supposed to have an opening from the base of this one and then the base of here so there should be like an opening right there and i'm going to do this same thing with my other clear plastic on the other side of this okay now this is what you should have you should have your roof your side your two plastic pieces glued in place and then now we're just going to glue on the other side of our house like so and the clear plastic um, should be a little higher than the bottom of these so now we got this beautiful little house and now we're going to to fill it up with the bird seed from the base here. Once you've filled up this thing with bird seed, set it somewhere where you're not going to spill the bird seed everywhere. Now we're going to use our little cardboard strip and glue it all around here with hot glue, and yeah. Okay, so now that you got your little tray, go ahead and get your um, house that has all this bird seed in it and be really careful. And put hot glue on the bottom here, and we're going to glue it to the tray. But then when you're looking at it from like up above, like glue it upside down, this is the only way to do it. 
actually do flip it over and don't put the glue in yet because yeah so now 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 you can just flip it over and kind of evenly um, distribute the bird seeds that will come out through that little plastic area so now once the bird seed is all around the base go ahead and pour in some clear glue into the base and move it around with like an end of a chopstick or something but basically just want to make sure all this bird seed at the bottom is covered in glue and mixed around so it sticks and stays okay so once you're done doing that let this dry overnight and yeah and while it's drying, of course, you're going to need to attach a string so you can hang it in your tree. So I'm just going to hot glue some string in here. So the glue has dried and it looks really awesome and it's like it's not going to come out. It's super awesome. But now we are going to make a tree to put this birdhouse in. So you're going to need a brown paper bag or two, scissors, glue, moss, and water. You can get moss at the dollar store. This is where I got mine. Cut open your brown bag and cut and cut a pretty thick strip of it out of your bag. Now with this strip, turn it over and you're going to want to start twisting it up using little taps of water in a cup as you go. So I'm just going to show you. You just want to twist it up to make a like twiggy type thing. And you have your first little twiggy type thing. And then repeat this process three more times to make three of these. And then you're going to just twist all three of these together with Okay, so I hot glued all three of these little twigs together, and I left this with them at the end open so that I can kind of set them up and these can kind of be the roots. So now you're just going to make several more little twisties that are a little thinner than what we need these, and then we're going to kind of glue them around here to make branches, so yeah. Okay, so I made three more of these little branch things, and I'm actually going to hot glue them on and make like a tree type thing. Um, hopefully that looks cool. I have to use hot glue. Uh, yeah. It does not hang well, it's very sad. Like, wow, it looks like it literally died. So. So now I am go now I'm going to glue this unusually strong branch to the base here. And this is actually going to need reinforced with sticks as well. So now we're going to have to reinforce this um, base part where we are going to the trunk of the tree. So I'm just going to hot glue some bamboo skewers that I cut right here. I glued on the bamboo skewers and some of them are going to the ground so that they can support even more like completely to the ground. After gluing on the bamboo skewers, glue a twisted and crumpled piece of the bag that has been unfolded around the trunk of the tree to cover the unsightly appearance of the skewers, therefore making the product more adequate. Now, you know what, I'm just going to drop the accent, okay? So, basically, use your moss to glue on some leaves to your tree and cover the base of your tree. By the way, glue your tree to a piece of cardboard so it can stand up, and yeah. I ended up using school glue to cover up, to use, like, wrinkled pieces of paper to just cover the base, um, and then I used hot glue for almost everything else. Okay, guys, that is basically it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below because I love talking to you guys. And make sure you check out day two of this spring collab on Hannah the Honey Bear's channel. Her, her channel will be linked in the description box. And check back on, um, back to me on the 19th of March 2020 for day three and etc. And this will last for four days. So, yeah, I can't wait to see you on the rest of the spring collab videos. And, yeah, may, let me know if you want to make this because it's super cute. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Y'all don't even realize how embarrassing it is to film out here, especially when it's quiet. That's weird. When no one's around, you're just like, somebody's around. And, you know what I mean? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Enjoy the video? Watch my hair. Subscribe and like the video, and most of all, share the channel. I'm eating chips, by the way.